so we have two techniques to convert a structured data unstructured data or structured data so unstructured data to structured data and the first technique that we have is something called as b o w that stands for bag of words that stands for bag of words let's try to see this okay let's trick three sentences for now sentence one okay so sentence one he is a good boy he is a good boy sentence two he is a uh, sorry uh, she is a good girl sentence three they are good girl or boy so this what we have okay so one second now suppose uh, so first we have to do a text cleaning okay so first we'll do a text reprocessing so can anyone tell me if we do a text processing which all words will be left here in sentence 1 in sentence 2 in sentence 3 so if we are text processing we remove the stop words we remove the punctuation what all words are remaining now good boy good and okay good. so in the first sentence good boy in the second sentence good girl good girl good girl in the third sentence good to girl good. Boy okay, so this is what we have seen till today. Okay, now the next step after this, this is, we have to create something called as vocabulary. Okay, so the step after this is, we have to create a vocabulary. Now the question is, how to create the vocabulary, right? Now what you have to do is, just go sentence by sentence. Okay, now in sentence one. the word is good so in so this this is the vocabulary so write good in the vocabulary okay once good is written then we go to the next word that is boy this boy and then we check is boy is present in this vocabulary or not if the boy is present ignore it if it is not present then add it okay so this is the algorithm that it takes so good was not there so i have added the good boy is there no so i will add the boy also now this sentence is over now we go to the next sentence uh, good is present in the vocabulary yes or no yes so should i have to add good again no no okay so this is the thing you have to take care of okay if that particular word is already in the vocabulary you don't have to add that if it if if it is not in the vocabulary then you have to add so good i will not add because it is already in the vocabulary girl so do i have to add girl or not yes okay girl then what about this good okay this sentence is over now we are iterating iterating to this loop so good is there yes it is there girl is there yes it is there so we'll not write boy is there yes yes so we'll not write okay now this uh, asan yes yes Uh, but uh, can I consider that uh, vocabulary is a set? Because if you are mm -hmm. adding any of the value, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I yeah. So you are going by this. So this is actually not a list. This is just I am just making like this. Okay. Okay. So okay, I'm just I I was just making like a like a compartment type. So it is not a list actually. So whenever we will do any vocabulary thing, so yeah. it will check each word. And whether each word is present or not, we'll check yes. the addition. Right? Exactly, exactly. If the word is present, then it will not write it again. If the word is not present, then it will be added in the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And now this vocabulary, what you got, is nothing but a features now. This vocabulary, what you got, is a feature, as simple as that. So this is a simple bag of words. Now this is features. now what happens now it becomes something like this so let me draw this 
in a table. Okay, so sorry, my bad. So this is feature one, feature two, feature three. So how many vocabularies? How many words are in the vocabulary? Three. Three words, right? So we will have three features. As simple as that. So we will have three features. So the feature one is good. Feature two is boy. And feature three is girl. Now this is sentence one sentence two and sentence three. So basically each row is a sentence now. So center one, center sentence three. So in a, now, now we have to do a data filling now inside this. Now in sentence once, good was present? Yes. Yes. In sentence two, boy was present, uh, sentence one, boy was present? Yes. Yes. So this is one. Girl was present? Zero. No. Zero. Then we'll move to sentence two. Good was present? Yes. Boy was present? No. No. Girl was present? Yeah. In the last one, I think everything was present. If I... Yes. Yeah, so this is what we have. Now your job is done. What you wanted? You wanted to convert an unstructured to a structured one. You have done that. Your ML model only understands number. So you have converted everything into one number. Now in the end, what we will have, you have this. So basically with each and every text, we will have some target variable. Okay, just, I'm just assuming, okay, just for this particular use case, I'm just assuming that, that uh, the sentence was to verify whether the, the particular sentence is about a boy or a girl. Okay, I'm just making my own use cases here, just to explain you. So for this, this is a boy, it will be one. It will be, this is a girl, it will be zero. And this will be one, for example. Okay, so this is what target variable, you have a number, just give this to any ML model and your job is done. And your job is done. So this part is clear to everyone. Any doubts you want to ask, you can ask. Absan, in sentence three, we have both, right? Boy and girl. Yes. Then uh, how we are deciding target one here? No, no, this is just, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, so suppose there, is, there can be a three target, basically zero, one, and two, where two indicates it's talking about girl and boy. So, okay. yeah, so. Okay, this okay. Is, just generalizing. Just analyze, yes, yes, just for that. I'm just, but how to convert a particular sentence into a particular vector is clear. Yeah, so this yeah. sentence one has this vector. This sentence two had this vector. Sentence three has this vector. Okay, so we are converting each unstructured data to a structured data such that my ML model can understand. So this is something called as bag of words. A simple algorithm, but an effective one. So this is called as a bag of words. So any doubts in this, you can ask. Although we will take one, one more example, but yes. Uh, this vocabulary we have to create every time or it is predefined? No, no, uh, vocabulary we have to create every time for a particular use case, okay? Okay. For, partic for particular use case, for suppose this use case where I have to define whether a particular sentence is for a girl or a boy, this is the vocabulary for that. If you have the another use case, then you have to again define the vocabulary. So based on the sentence, it will define the vocabulary. So it will basically check all the sentences that you have and it will generate a vocabulary. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, okay. So can anyone tell me a disadvantage of this? So just analyze this and tell me a disadvantage. Just think. Uh, maybe maybe all sentences have same context. Like uh, here we are defining go good girl or boy uh, in every sentence. If we have such a, any paragraph, like uh, there is one only topic and then sentences are different about that topic, then how we are going to yeah, see, see, basically, uh, the data collection should be proper that you know. So if that is that is not proper, then of course the ML will not work indirectly. I'm talking about if the data is proper, then what is the problem here? For every word, there'll be a new column. Teachers can there'll be too many columns. I think it is time taking, right? Okay, agreed. So if, if we have a last sentence, then there will be a very uh, if we have very n number of uh, 
sentence or the words, then we have a number of features. Okay, agreed. But nowadays we have very high computational power, so that is not a case now. Then that problem is solved because we have a code and everything, so that problem is solved. Then notice one thing: all the features are getting the equal weightage. Yes or no? Yes. Correct. Yeah. See, if good is also one, boy is also one. So how my model will understand whether I have to uh, check boy or good? Getting my point. Here, my model will not understand whether to detect a particular boy or a girl. Is good is a perfect feature or boy is a perfect feature because one is there in both the ends, right? So my model will not understand. He will get confused. So this is a drawback of backward model. This is a drawback of backward model. It's clear to everyone. Yes. Okay, because my model will understand whether to define a particular uh, girl or a boy. Is good is a good is a good is the main feature or boy is the main feature or the girl is the main feature because for everything it is one one and for girl also one. So my model will get confused. Okay, so that's why bag of model is not preferred in most of the cases. Then then the question is what is preferred? Okay, then the question is what is preferred? Uh, then we have, okay, so I will move. I will go to that. Uh, so we have something called as TF IDF for that term frequency inverse document frequency TF I D F, which stands for term frequency, and I IDF stands for inverse document frequency. So I will come to this in a later part. Let me give you one more example of this bag of words so that it will be clear that you understood or not how bag of word basically works. So let's try to take a real time use case. Okay, that's a real time use case in the sense I am just taking few only sentences. So suppose this is a sentence I have, and okay. So suppose you have you have a data. Someone has collected data for you, and this section consists of review, and this second section consists of class. So the review is I love it. So the class is one. Okay. So basically, it's a sentiment analysis I'm trying to do. So one represents positive, and zero represents negative. Okay, let's assume this. Then, then the next sentence someone has written is, "I really like the movie." Now the class is one because this is also a positive sentence. Now someone has written, "I I hated it." Then we have zero for this. Okay, now let's try to get the bag of word for this. So for sentence one, if we clean the data. Which is the word which is left? Same for sentence two. Same for sentence three. Yes. No. So this is sen no. sentence one, sentence two, sentence three. Yes. Sentence one. If you have cleaned the data, you have removed the punctuation stop word. The word which is left is loved. Then for second sentence two. Liked. I think liked also. Uh, it it yeah. will be really. It will be really. Really like and and movie. Movie. Mm. Yes. And for the fourth one. Hated. 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 Okay. When this is done, what is the next part? Next step we have to do. Wow. Oh. Create oh, a vocabulary. We create a vocabulary. Correct. Create a vocabulary. Although, uh, see, we don't have to do this when we are coding, but you should know what is happening behind the scene, literally. So yes. So next step is vocabulary. Then can anyone tell me uh, what vocabulary will contain? All I think. So loved. Loved. Really. Really. Liked. Movie. And hated. Okay. Now here comes. Now here it will make sense when you use lemmatization. Where, if this is love, and in place of like it is I love, I am loving the movie. So 
in in the vocabulary what will happen love will be take as one feature and loving will be take as one feature yes or no yes yes if yes. we don't if we don't give uh, limitization, limitation or yes but that is wrong right love and loving be the, means the same yes that yes, yes. No, so that's so now it makes sense that where, where we use uh, uh, this stemming so here that, that's why we use stemming so that is love and love is treated as a one word, not as a different feature. Okay, so the here where the lemmatization or stemmatization come into play. Is clear to everyone? So loved, really liked, movie, hated. So this is a vocabulary that we have. So how many features do we have now? Five. So we have five features. That is love is one of them. Then really like. Awesome. Yes. If we use um, before creating the vocabulary, if we use the limit limitation, or limitation. So mm -hmm. basically, we will get the uh, feature as four, right? Yes. Yes. If we use, if we use, so see, it depends. Okay. If this like and love has the same word form or not, I don't think so. It will have. Suppose, suppose it will have. Suppose say that. Ah, suppose yes, suppose, yes. Suppose it has. Yes. Then it would be the four. Then right. Yes. Then this will be also love, okay. and this will be also love, right? If ah, we have yeah. we have done the limitation, so this yeah. love is written here. So this okay. love it will it it, it it is written there, so it will not write. <coughs> so yes, it will be written only once. Okay, Nikhil. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so, Yes, yes. So that's the concept of stemmat is stemming and limitization. So I think now it's clear to everyone that why it is used. And then of course we have a target variable, and a target variable is uh, one one zero. Let's try to fill with sentence one. So sentence loved was then a sentence one. So yes, zero 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 zero. Sentence two. This is zero, zero. one. one. One, one, zero. zero, and for sentence three, okay. zero, 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 one. For sentence three, sentence three it is zero, 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 one, and the output is zero. Now you have to just train this model. You have to train this model. Now there is no special algorithm for this. Okay, so what you have learned till now is that exactly what we'll use here. Okay, but a small suggestion to everyone. So as you know, when the number of sentence increases, what increases? Features. Features. Features increases. Exactly. Feature increases. Now, when there, uh, so I don't know whether you know that. So whenever you have a large number of columns, which is the best algorithm to use? ML algorithm. Random forest. Random forest. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I will just tell you, okay, if, if we have a large number of columns, so see, in the reality, we will have around 100 to 200 features. More than that, just a small answer, a small just taking number. The best algorithm, if you have a large number of columns, the best algorithm to use is NavBias. The best algorithm is to use NavBias, okay? So whenever you have a large number of columns, instead of going with random forest, try to go with name bias, okay? So this is a quick tip to everyone, okay? So whenever you're doing an NLP model, name bias tends to perform better because he's a large number of column and you will get a slightly better accuracy. For random forest, if you're getting 68, for name bias, you will get around 72, okay? Not a much difference, but yes, you will get a difference. Okay, we'll try to see this in the practical session also, but yes, try to keep this in mind. Okay, so this is nothing but bag of words. So any doubts in this, you can ask. No doubts in a chat? No doubts. Oh, okay, okay, great. Let's try to go to the next section. And the next section is TF IDF. Uh, so, what was the drawback in bag of words? Weight is not weighted for all the features. 
Yeah, basically we are not trying to, we are not getting the best features for us. Okay, because everyone has an equal weightage. So we are not getting the best feature. Okay, so let me open my PPT for this. Wait a second. So let me see this PPT. So if some in which scenario we can use this back of words if, um, apart from this drawback? Uh, see, frankly speaking, bag of words is not much use because we have TF IDF for that. So uh, more, for most of the cases, we only go with a TF IDF. So bag okay. of was the initial technique, then the TF IDF was introduced, and then we went, we go with TF IDF. I will, so you will also understand why we go with TF IDF, okay? Okay. When I, when I, yeah, when I will teach you this. Okay. okay. So TF IDF is useful in solving the major drawbacks of bag of word by introducing an important concept called as inverse document frequency. Okay, so this is so this IDF is a concept that is involved to uh, to just bypass the important drawback of the bag of words. Okay, so it is a score to highlight each word's relevance in the entire document. Okay, now what TF IDF will do is it will try to identify that which word is actually actually relevant for this particular use case. Okay, how? Let's see that. So this for this we have a formula. So TF that is term frequency. The formula is number of repetition of words in a sentence divided by number of words in a sentence. This is a formula. And for idea phase, log of number of sentence divided by number of sentence containing words. Okay, so this this is the formula that we have. Now, why TF, why IDF? Now here is the point. TF answers question like this. So how many times is beauty used in that entire document? So TF will just give you the probability that how many times this word beauty is used in a, oh, sorry, my bad. So how many times this beauty is used in a sentence? So it will give you a probability. But IDF, what it will tell you, IDF answers question like, how important is the word beauty to the entire list of document? Is it a common theme in all the documents or no? Basically what TF IDF will do is, so we have a word beauty, right? So it will give the probability of this. Now IDF will tell me that actually this beauty is important for us or not. Actually this beauty word is important as for us or not, okay? So this is a concept of IDF. So it's clear to everyone what TF does and what IDF does. So with the help of the formula, we'll understand. So basically, basically uh, in the previous sentence, that, that is a girl and a good sentence, good was in all the sentences, right? Yes or no? If you remember in the bag of words, good was there in all the sentences, yes? Yes. So. So we can see this, we can say that this good is not an important word because it is a because uh, to identify a girl and a boy, we can't be biased towards good. So we can't say that when whenever good is coming, then it is boy, then whenever bad is coming, it's girl. No, we can't do that, right? So this feature actually don't have any importance. Yes or no? If we consider this feature as IDF, the importance is not there. But if it is via TF, then it yeah, is... it depends. Yes, of course, it depends on use case to use case. But it's not your job. It that IDF that IDF will tell for you whether that particular feature is important or not. Okay. But let's take a scenario. So just just analyzing the things. So if we have the three sentence, for example, so this good was not an important feature, right? Because this was present in all the sentence. So if it is all the features are present in all the sentence, then that feature has no value, right? right? Yes or no? So that's what IDF does for us. So IDF is tell, will tell you that how important that particular word is. Okay, so it is a mathematical equation that is done behind the scene. I will tell you what is a mathematical equation. But TF and IDF is clear to everyone. 
with the full forms. So TF stands for term frequency. And IDF stands for inverse document frequency. And these are the these are the important features of these two. It's clear, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's try to see the same example. Now uh, the the girl and a good boy one, but the difference is that here it will be a small difference. Here we will use if here we will not use bag of words. Instead, that we will use a TF ID. Okay, so TF IDF. Let's see this now. So again, I will take the same sentence. Sentence one is good boy. Sentence two is. good girl sentence three is boy good girl so i think uh so if we have cleaned this so vocabulary will be good boy and girl so see, till vocabulary, everything will be same, okay? Till vocabulary for bag of words also, it will be same. For TF IDF also, will it, it will be same. So vocabulary is generated. Now, what we have to do is, okay, let me just uh, reload this. Okay, now we have to calculate two things now. So let me create two boxes. So once we have to cal one, we have to calculate TF and one, we have to calculate IDF. The formula for DF is, okay, I think, I don't think so you guys will remember because so, so the formula is number of repetition of word in sentence divided by number of words in sentence. Okay, I don't know what is happening to my handwriting, some issue with the app. Then we have IDF. So IDF, we have something called as log. We have log number of sentences number of sentences upon number of sentences containing words sorry for the bad handwriting okay so again the same thing how many uh, in the vocabulary how many words were there Three. Exactly, yeah. three words, right? So, okay. Now we are calculating TF first. Okay, how many good words were there? Three words were there. I think the words were good, uh, girl, and boy. And how many sentence we have? We have sentence one, sentence two, and sentence three. So first what we have to do is we have to calculate the term frequency, that is TF. So the definition of the term frequency is number of repetition of a word in a sentence. So in a sentence, how many times good is good is repeating in a sentence one? One time. One. One, one. right? Divided by number of words in a sentence. And how many words were there in the sentence? Two. Two. So this will be one by two. This will the answer will be one by two. Let's go to the se second sentence. So number of repetition of word in a sentence. In a sentence two, how many times good was uh, good was there? one time 
or some the uh, number of sentence it is after the cleaning of the data right yes after the cleaning of the data yes okay. after the cleaning of the data so yes so this is one by two again sentence three is good sentence okay so this was i think uh, one upon three because i think in the third, third sentence it was good girl and boy yes or no yes. so it is one by three now for girl in sentence one what was the what was mm -hmm. the, what will the value will get zero zero exactly zero for sentence two one by two one by, one by two. two and sentence three same one by three. one by three for boy one by two. one by two sentence two it will be i think zero <laughs> and in the last sentence we have one by three okay so this is the tf for all the words in each the in each, for all the sentence this is the word and we try to calculate tf for this so this tf calculation is clear to everyone any confusion in this no. no okay let's go to idf then so idf we take the words that is the basically vocabulary words and we, we take a idf the formula that we have written on the top so the words are good girl and boy now here comes the important part that idf will tell you that whether that particular word is important or not if it is important then how much important it is okay so let's try to see this log log number uh, number of sentences so how many sentences are there total three three sentences. three sentences and in how many sentences good were present so number of sentences containing that particular word three. so how many sentences were present three. three three what is log zero log one right oh sorry what is log, log one, one. Zero. What is zero. Log zero. of one is zero. Let's go to girl now. Log of uh, three divided by how many sentences girl was present? Two. Two. Three by two. We get some value. Then boy bo uh, for boy? Same. Three by two. Three by two. So this is what you have TF. This is what you have IDF. Okay. Now the 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 all together the table what we get is nothing but TF into IDF. Okay, so what I mean to say is, okay, let me yeah, just put this. So this is the features will be of obviously it will be same. So there's no change in the feature. So we have a feature uh, feature one that is a good. Then we have feature two that is boy and feature three that is girl. We have sentence one, sentence two, sentence three. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to just multiply. So this final table will be TF into IDF. Now in the good, uh, for good in sentence one, what was the value for TF for good? In one sentence by one. one by three, one by no sentence one by two. One, the good value is one by two. Okay, so one by two into in uh, IDF, what is a good value? Zero into zero, which is equivalent to zero for boy. One by two into zero. One by two into zero. Why into zero? Into log log of three by two log of three by two right see for boy for boy in sentence one the value is one by two so we have written one by two in idf the value of boy is how much log three by two so one by two into log three by two for girl it is i think zero zero into log log into three by two to, so by default this will be zero yes let's go to the sentence two what about sentence two give me the values one by two into one by two into zero one by two into zero okay in the boy zero into log, log, three, log, by log, 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 log. 
log three by two, which is by default zero. And what about girl? One by one by two and two log zero. So we have some value. Sentence three, it will be one by two into zero if it's zero. Yes. Basically, it is one by three, not one by two. It is one by three. Then for boy. One by three into log three by two. You get some value. Then for this. One by three into log three by two. Exactly. Now what you can notice here? Can anyone tell me the the observation? Good thing. Good is not important because it's zero for all. Of yes. So my TF IDF automatically identify that this particular feature is not as important. So in place of one, 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 it's giving zero, zero, zero. Girl is also zero. So for boy, only boy has one. So which is an important feature to identify whether it's a boy, uh, it's a boy or a girl. This boy is an important feature to identify it's a boy. And this girl is an important feature to identify that it's a girl. So this is what a TF IDF is. This is what a TF ID of is. This is clear to everyone? Yes or no? Yes. So how it is solving the drawback of back of words? So this is how it solves the drawback. Okay, so this is the basic formula for this. So I'll one question here. Yes, yes. What if our target was to find uh, if it is good or bad, then, then this, the, the word good uh, would be useful, right? Yeah, but see, it's it's not. So this see, this is only three okay. sentences. Okay, but in that case, there would also be bad and. Exactly, way. exactly. So in that case, sentence one. So suppose there are ten sentences. In the four sentences, good will be present. In the other four sentences, bad will be present, right? It will not put it zero because it will get to know right. that that good is there in some of the sentences were bad. So it will try to consider this as an important feature with the help of IDF. Okay, so that will not happen in uh, that case. Yeah, I got yes, or, uh, yes. Yes, anyone wants to ask more doubts, you can ask. So basically I have a PPT also. So if in future you have a doubt, you can just refer this PPT. I think the PPT is self-explanatory. So this is another document, okay. And now in 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 a in an NLP world, there is a bit uh, terminology okay that you have to take care of, and the terminology each sentences are called as documents. Each sentences are known as document. An entire a collection of documents are called as corpus. Okay, a small term terminology that you have to take care of. Okay, so whenever we are saying that he, uh, we have a corpus, that means that corpus contains a list of documents. Okay, so a small terminology, that's it. So document one, document two, and document three. So it is going to rain today. Today I'm not going outside. I'm going to watch the CD premium. Okay, this is a random sentence I have taken. It doesn't make any sense with this particular use case. So you clean the data, you tokenize the data as it is. Then you calculate the TF for that particular thing. And this is a TF. Then we calculate the idea. Uh, so this is TF for everything, for all the words that we have in a sentence. So for document one, document two, document three. Then we calculate the IDF that you have, that you can see on the screen and simply uh, build model, stack all the words next to each other. So just try to create the final table and this is what final table looks like. So you have seen all the calculations one by one. So this is what fi final table looks like. And this is what a TF idea is. So any doubts in this? So I think this PPT, I will give it, it will be self-explanatory, I think. Okay, so. Okay, now can anyone tell me uh, why we are removing the stop words or the punctuations? Why? Now everything will make sense now. Okay, now everything will make start uh, will start making sense now. Uh, Lemmatization and stemming. I think it started making sense that why it is important. Yes or no? 
Yes, it will. Yes. Okay. Now, but why we are removing punctuation or why we are removing uh, stop words? Because even that would be included as a part of your vocabulary if you're not removing. Okay, and what mm -hmm. will happen in that case? They don't contribute to the use case in any way. Number of features. It's a junk. Basically, what will happen is that uh, it will lead to a sparse matrix. Can anyone explain what do you, what do you mean by sparse matrix? Anyone has an idea of sparse matrix? Okay, so whenever your matrix consists of a lot of zeros, that is called a sparse matrix. Okay, so whenever a matrix consists of a lot and lot of zeros, so it is considered a sparse, sparse matrix. Okay, so this is a matrix that we have seen. Okay, so the process of converting an LP text into a number is called vectorization. Okay, this is called as vectorization. So basically, what this is what you have done in a table and you have written in tabular form. That is what you have done. Okay, so this is called as a vectorization. The this results in a vector with lot of zeros. Okay, so what will happen? A sparse vector will be created. Okay, so it will consist and lot and lot of zeros. Now, what will happen if something is so okay? So okay, I agree. It it carries lot and lot of zeros. Okay, suppose this is. One zero 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 zero. So what? But what is the problem in this? Let it be. No, we have the computation power. We have everything. So why we have? So why we are removing punctuation? The simple answer is, when my model try to do some type some type of calculation, somehow or the other, it will always be multiplied by zero. In the case, so my, if we take a graph, if we draw this. My main aim is to leave, uh, to reach this minima, right? Yes or no? Yes. But the problem is, whenever my model tries to come down, it will be multiplied by zero somehow. We have a sparse matrix, and again, it will be here only. So it it will it will take long and very long time to reach this local minima. That is a case that we try to remove the punctuation and the stop word, which is common. Okay, so that is the case. So we try to remove this sparse matrix. So for that, what we do is, so sparse vector requires more memory, first thing, and computational resources, second thing, when modeling. The vast number of positions or dimensions can make the modeling process very challenging for traditional algorithms. So this is the proper answer for that, okay? So this can be asked in interview also. So if you know this particular thing, then it's good. As such, there is a pressure to decrease the size of the vocabulary when using a back of words model. Okay, now it becomes up our job or the machine learning job or the TF idea for a bag over job. So we have to give them that particular sentence which can reduce the number of vocabulary. So that's why we have something called as text processing and where we try to remove the words. So this is the scene. Okay, so how you can do? You can just remove the stop words and you can remove the punctuations. You can remove the other unwanted thing, like if, the, if it's a tutor data, you can remove at the rate, then Gmail and stuff like that. And you can get the clean data so that you get a proper matrix, your traditional model can work. And yes, you get a good accuracy. So this concept is clear to everyone, yes or no? Any doubts you can ask. Asan, yes. On mine, can you please uh, explain the sparse Can you please explain the sparse matrix again? You're saying? No. Yeah, if it is possible. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So, okay. I got it that it is a uh, sparse matrix is uh, uh, multiple uh, more number of zeros, but uh, if we consider if a line is there, mm -hmm. so one 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 zero zero. And uh, we always do the one and zero differentiated by the comma or full stop. So you told that time that uh, we have to clean that up. Yes, yes. Okay. Suppose after that I. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, after so suppose you have a sparse matrix. So you, are, you mainly want to ask that what is the issue with sparse matrix, right? Yes. Okay. Now we have a zero. Suppose we have a zero like this. This okay. Now, the problem is, what is your goal? 
So the suppose this is a gradient descent, right? If you remember what is gradient descent. So the main yeah. the main objective is suppose here we have a weight, yeah, or here yeah. we have a weight. So we have to find the slope. Yeah. Okay, and we have a parameter that is uh, weight old is equal to uh, sorry weight new equal to weight old minus the learning rate upon the derivative. Yeah. If you remember this, right? Yeah. So based on that, my model will try to increase its weight or decrease its weight to reach the global minimum. Yes. Okay. okay. Now the now the issue is when we have lots of zeros. So suppose I have y equal to m x plus c. Yes. Now the problem is that if suppose we want to achieve y, we try to do our weight still two. So two into one plus c. Let it be as uh, one. So what is the answer we're getting? Three. Three. Yes. <laughs> now let's take this feature now. Y equal to m into zero plus one. 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 Now let's try to take this feature now. Again one. Mm -hmm. This feature now. Again one. So the model is stuck at one place, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. So that's why we we try to remove this zeros. Is now it's clear, Nikhil? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay so All it right. will be stuck here only. Mm -hmm. So it will not try to move up mm -hmm. and down. So it's that's why gradually decrease or uh, gradually decrease, but we stuck in a point one only. So that's yes, why exactly. Are... And just imagine that we have, uh, we will have hundred and thousand of rows, and for everything we'll have zero zero zero. So now understand how many computation it will read. Uh, okay, it will be computation, and it will be give us an infinite loop also. I mean, yeah, the computation is also high, and mm -hmm. this is not required. Then why we are showing this? Extra space is also getting considered, right? Yeah. So yes, yeah. so these two things are important. So that's why we try to remove the punctuation and the stop words. Now it's clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but coming to the statement uh, you mentioned that one, can you please tell me that? Uh, which which part? Uh, if you go to the PDF, and that presentation, please. Okay, you want to go presentation? Okay, so this is a presentation. Which slide you want to go? Just tell me. Uh, let's go off. Not that one. There is a. You told that that is important for the interview purpose. Sparse one. Okay, okay, okay. So this one, yes. Can uh, I mean, uh, can you relate that to this one? So okay. Can, so can sparse you... vectors require more memory. You have seen that. Yeah. Because it is to it is lot of zero is there, so zero will also take a memory. Correct. So a memory and computational resources. So yes. So for each, so it will take more computation to reach the global minima. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. And the vast number of position dimension can make the modeling process. So you can see that if you have last number, uh, we, okay. So, so suppose if you have last number of features and everything is zero, zero, zero. Okay. So the model is stuck at this point only. One point only. Yeah. Yeah. So dimension can make the modeling process very challenging. So if you have a last dimension and it's a sparse mm -hmm. matrix and everything is zero, 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 mm -hmm. then it will get, go to the local minimum. I'm not saying it will not go, but it will take a lot and lot of, and it will be very challenging process for this traditional algorithm. Traditional algorithm is nothing but all the ML algorithms I'm talking about okay. that you have learned. Okay. A linear logistic. Linear logistic. Okay. Yes, all the traditional, the traditional algorithm means, and the when we say deep learning algorithm, that is different. Okay, that you have learning much uh, deep learning, right? So that is different. But for that, for them, it will be easy because you use CUDA core, you use other stuff like that, right? And in the traditional algorithm, uh, in, sorry, in the deep learning algorithm, there is nothing called as feature selection. Yeah. So my model will automatically remove this pass matrix by default. But for this traditional algorithm, it is not possible. Okay, so that's why it is very challenging for them. If you remember deep learning class, I have told you that in deep learning, we never do feature engineering. Feature right? engineering, we are not doing. So this will be automatically removed when we create a model because this is a feature engineering in the sense at, yeah. at the last. So that's why traditional algorithm faces a lot of issues. So that's why to work with this traditional algorithm, we try to give a particular, uh, a good matrix, not a sparse matrix, a vector, which is not a sparse matrix. Now, clear, Nikhil? Yes. Now this sentence, yeah. this whole sentence makes sense? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Uh, so, Afshan, uh, sparse matrix uh, can also influence the accuracy of the model, right? You yes, 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 yes. Okay, so this is the pressure to decrease the size of the vocabulary and we do that by cleaning the data. So that's why now it makes sense why cleaning of data and why stemming is required in this whole process to everyone. So we have seen the four to five libraries. 
what did that leverage does we it tries to clean the data but the question was why why we in the data now this is the answer for that so everyone has a clear idea about how nlp works now yes yes okay yes. this is how nlp works so this was the nlp topic okay now let's try to see how bag of word works and how tf idea works using a theoretical uh, using a practical session now so what i will do is to visualize the things better we will work with uh, jupyter notebook uh, so not jupyter notebook we'll work with spider just introduction to new id so in this case we will learn spider also and we will learn one more id also you will also learn one more id and we will we will uh, we will we will be able to visualize the things much better in spider id okay so for everyone who who doesn't who, who don't know how to open it so go to anaconda prompt and there we have something called a spider just click on that okay so just click on that meanwhile let me also open that so sir you want us to open this spider right Bring yes yes spider yes spider notebook so this is how it look like so, okay for me it's black in color because i have done like that uh, for you it will be white in color if i'm not wrong okay so this is what it will look like so basically in a spider notebook you have three compartments okay the first one is where you write the code and on the left hand side uh, it is divided into two rows the first row will tell you that which all variable you have declared and what is the variable what is the type of the variable and the last one this part will act as a jupyter notebook this act as a jupyter notebook okay so this is a combination of you can say a id a jupyter notebook and a visualization part where you can see that what type of data we have we are storing okay so let's try to work on this so everyone you have opened this yes okay yes. so this is how it looks like a spider notebook uh, mainly for many of the use case i like spider notebook a lot why i will tell you now see if i am doing print okay not print if i do a equal to 1 if i run this if as soon as i run this so run you can do in a two ways one you can select this you can select this and shift tab and that particular line, particular line will be executed or else you can click on this run icon it's up to you how you want to create shift tab right shift enter shift enter sorry my bad shift enter so just select this and shift enter okay so once you run this it will be it will get executed so on the right hand side you can see that name a that is a variable name you can see the type also so okay so if you want to check the type you don't have to literally type of a that is not required in jupyter notebook because it is already given by you or it is already shown by the spider notebook to you so this type is int and the size is 1 and the value is 1 okay so if you want uh, suppose if there is a string for example a string if i run this particular shell see the type is str so i don't have to check the type again and again this spider will to no notebook is enough to tell me the type of this size is 1 and the string is and the and the value is string okay so this is what a spider notebook is or you can type in a jupyter notebook also the, you know so okay b equal to str okay so i will write my name afsan and i will execute this a string is created b with afsan so you can write in this also if you want to write in a jupyter way or you can use the id also so this is a spider id that we have for now so is clear to everyone yes okay let's try to code okay so what i will do is i will try to give one text to everyone so let me take that so this is a text that i have given on google okay author i will change to afsan just for my fun if you want to put this project on github then it will people will get to know that you have written this project so you can write this author afsan it's up to you now i will take the same sentence copy and paste the chat 
so whenever it's asking to install kites, you know, just ignore that. That is not required. Okay. So don't try to install any other stuff. So if kite is asking, don't try to just ignore that. So I have printed. Okay. So my second vision for India is my second vision for India is so try uh, guys, please try to concatenate everything. Okay. Because I think the whole text is not coming. So my second vision of India developments will we'll take again. I will take from development copy then. Okay. I'm only sending to Ranjini or what? Okay, sorry, my bad. So, so in till India's, I'm sending one sentence. Try to concatenate this, okay? Send to everyone, paste. This is the first sentence. Then after the India, just try to put this sentence. That is still minds. And then the last one that is Dr. Vikram, this thing. So I have sent you three sentences. Please try to concatenate it, what you can see on the screen like this. Okay, how to zoom this? Okay, great. I can zoom also. So one is done. Please write in the chat box that is done. Then I will move forward. Then you can save it also, of course. So do control S and select where you want to save. So I will just go on this then. So home of sun, then I will just Okay, desktop calls 20 NLP and TF. Oh, sorry, this is bag of words and TF IDF. Okay, great. So, everyone has done this, everyone has concatenated the strings, all the three strings, and created as a one string. Yes. Okay. Then, then uh, so what we'll do is we'll try to import all the libraries. Okay. So let's try to import it. The first one is of, we work with NLTK. So NLTK. We'll open NLTK. So you can use any of the libraries PC as a homework. Okay. You can do anything of your choice. So I'm just using NLTK for now. So from NLTK dot corpus dot corpus import stop words because we have to remove the stop words so that's why stop words so stop words then what we'll do is we will use portal demo for now you can use lemmatization it up to you what you want to use okay it's totally up to you so i will just import the both but i will work only with one you can later after the class you can just practice with other stuff also okay so from nl tk dot stem dot porter import porter stemmer and for you to practice i will just import word, word uh, net lemmatizer also so from nltk import word net lemmatizer <clears throat> then we try we will try to create the in, in so PS will stand for Porter Stemmer. Then I will try to create an instance for WordNet also. So whether if you want to use this. Okay, great. Now this is done, right? So what I will do is first I will do a sentence tokenization. So how to do a sentence tokenization in LTK? Anyone remembers? 
So if you don't remember also, it's it's fine. So what you can do is you can create dot. You, you can click on dot and try to remember only the first word. Okay, so if it's S E. Okay, so it tries to get a session basically. So it's not giving. I don't know why. Yeah, so it's giving now. It takes some sign. So this is what you have. See, send tokenize. So just click on this, and it will be sent. It will be already for you. Okay, if you press. Okay, sorry, my bad. And then what you provide inside this, you try to provide it a paragraph. And what is that? We have a paragraph like this. This paragraph. So it will be converted into send tokenize. So if I run this okay this is what it is so on the right hand side all the variables are created and it is then a sentence organization for us so when you click on sentences you can okay, so this is what you can see see it is created a list and string one is i have three visions for india two is i have 300 years of our history people from all over the and so on and it goes on till the sentence is fully broken down so can you see this everyone in your particular file so if i enlarge this you can see each and every sentences so size is one type is string and this is an index so this is a list basically so li list index zero is this particular sentence index one is this particular sentence and so on so this is what you can see so if you want to expand that just double click on this okay double click on this and a new window will get pop up and this is what you can see so till here everything is clear to everyone yes sir sir oh great then what i will do is i will create one corpus where i will put the clean text so what is a corpus corpus is nothing but where all documents are present so cleaning of text basically i will do in three steps so the first step what i will do is i will put everything in a lower case Second one, what I will do is I will uh, word tokenize everything. Then the third part, what I will do is I will remove stop words. And the fourth part, what I will do is I will do stem or lemmatize. It's up to you what, whatever you want to use, but I will use only one of them. Okay, so this is the four step or what I will do in this particular sentence. So let's try to do that. Okay, sorry. So now here comes your Python skills. Okay, now. For, sorry, for i in range, how many times we have to use the for loop? The number of sentences we have, right? So length of sentences. Okay, let me just keep pressing enter. So sentences. Now what you have to do, you have to put the logic now. Okay, so what I will do is I will do review equal to uh, i dot lower. So whatever sentence I'm getting, I'm converting that sentence to lowercase. So for easy to use, I will just do send. Okay, so it become readable to other users also proper coding style so after getting this lower then i will split okay so you can do a word tokenization also a word tokenization also you can do a split also so i am just going with a split but as a task you have to use word tokenization okay so review uh, review dot split and then the next step what i am doing is review equal to i am using a list comprehension where for word in review if not word in sentence that is top words dot words and of course we have to put the english language here english if it is not in this particular stop word, then what you have to do, we have to lemmatize that particular word and store as a list. Okay, so what I will do is I will just do ps dot stem, and inside this I will put the word that is w o r d, and if I run this, 
this is what you can see okay so let me try to yes okay this is what a particular thing is so any doubt still here anyone so i will try uh, try to use word lemmatization now word tokenization okay this is up to you so i have used split you can use a word tokenization last part what i am doing is review am i joining all the particular list okay so i am joining the list with a space dot join and review this is a basic python that everyone knows and after each sentence is getting clear clean i am just adding in a corpus so corpus dot append and adding the review so let's try to run this and when you have done this this is what you can see okay this is what you can see so basically okay i think some mistake happened because my corpus is getting as empty list okay some issue some mistake have been sent to lower i have done then review is same for everyone okay review is same okay for word in review if not word in set try to give me the particular stem form of that okay then join the review and i press in the corpus sentences is this okay so are you getting the answer okay so ah okay i got my mistake can you tell me what is the mistake here it said range in uh, exactly. range lower exactly yeah, yes so because this should be like this okay so it should be sentence of i so basically this was i was correct here you can do sentences of i or basically you can do for sent in sentences so that is also uh, so i will do that only so i will just remove this part okay now I'll try to run this everything okay unmatched okay sorry my bad okay now we have a corpus for this okay now try to open this corpus try to open the paragraph and let's try to compare these two now okay not this paragraph sorry this paragraph just open this and i think lots is open now so the corpus and sentence and now try to so that's why i chose spider so that you can compare the things now this is a corpus and this is a list in a sentence i was having i have three visions for india but in a corpus i have three vision india for in 3000 years of our history the clean text is 300 year history so this is what we have so sentence is a un, un clean text and corpus is a clean text so are you able to see this everyone Yes, Hassan. I am not able to yes. get the window on the right top side. Even I am also facing. I am not getting this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just share your screen, anyone? Probably they are in the help window. Yeah, they are in the help window. I think. Yeah. So just share anyone. Uh, just let me allow. Yes. It's a variable explorer. Yeah, right. can you see can you see variable explorer so on that particular down 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 you are on the help right just yeah. click on this yes click on this now you can see everything okay. now try to click on that and it will be shown to you double click yes so open the element sentence and open the corpus also so whatever word you have taken basically that thing so the the first one click on corpus also not not here 
India. Click now. Compare these two. Click. Okay. Okay. Now come. Now compare these two. Okay. So this is what a spider is. Is clear? So everyone, just try to move from help to variable explorer. Okay. If you want to see the variables, so this is what you have to do. Is clear, Ashika? Okay. So let me share my screen again. Okay. Once this is done, what is the next step? We have to create a vocabulary, then we have to create a table, right? But we don't have to do that manually because we have the libraries for that. But good to know that you know the behind the scene how everything works. Asan, yeah. are you sharing the screen? Yes, I am. Uh, Yashika, you have to. Yes, yes, clear, clear. Okay, I will start. Now, are you able to see my screen, everyone? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I have taught you how everything happens behind the scene, but actually, we don't have to perform all the steps. That will be done by the library that we have. Okay. So, the library we have, what you have to do is from sklearn dot feature extraction. So, feature extraction is there. So, click on feature extraction dot text import count vectorizer. So bag of words. So bag of word is called as count vectorizer as a library. Okay. So whenever you call a, whenever you want to call a vectorizer, a bag of words vectorizer, you have to call a count vectorizer for that because we are counting the things, right? So bag of words is about counting the things and putting in the table. So that's why they have name at count vectorizer. So this is bag of words by default. How to use It's very simple. So CV, equal to count vectorizer. So count vectorizer. And you have to do the fit transform as you, uh, what you used to do in the standardization and stuff like that, feature engineering type, right? So the same thing we have to do here. So X equal to fit, uh, sorry, not fit, CV dot fit. Okay, can anyone tell me a quick question? What is the difference between a fit transform and a fit? So there's a two way, right? We can do fit and then we can transform or we can do fit underscore transform. What's the difference? So uh, we are actually Fitting the uh, model uh, from from the uh, the first data actually basically fitting them the once the model is fit based on that we, we are just uh, transforming based on uh, whatever fit we have already done exactly um, exactly okay so perfectly correct now what he he's saying is suppose you have corpus first try to extract all the vocabulary and based on that vocabulary, try to fit this data. Based on that vocabulary, just put, just transform this corpus based on this vocabulary that is learned, try to put that or transform that in that particular data. Okay, so this is what you mean by expit underscore transform. Where fit will only try to learn that what is the vocabulary. But fit will transform, will learn also and transform this old data to an, uh, so this X will be on in a new very, uh, in, in a new form, which it has learned. Okay, so this is the difference between a fit and a fit transform. Then what we have to do is, your job is done, just convert to two array. If you want to see something, you have to convert this to two array. Now your job is done, just run this. X will be created, open the X and see the matrix. Open the X and see the matrix. Expand it and see this. Uh, can I show that again? Uh, what did you convert? Okay, okay. So what I have done is I have initialized the object that is CV, <laughs> and this is a class X equal to CV dot fit underscore transform. Put the corpus that a clean corpus you have taken, and just do that to array so that every, everything get converted to array. So you have to do this. And once you have done this, just run everything. So once you run everything, this is what you get. So, okay, I will wait for others to type, to just type.
Option, can you repeat what is the difference between fit and fit transform? Okay. So, uh, so difference between a fit and a fit transform is when you do fit in place of this. Yeah. Uh, in place of this. Okay. So what will happen is it will learn the vocabulary from this. You know what is vocabulary? So uh, vocabulary will be created. Clear? Okay. Yeah. But it will be not applied to this corpus because in this you are just only to fit. So you are telling that please get the vocabulary and give it to me. When you do fit underscore transform. So basically you have done something like this. So if in other class, what you will do, you will do fit corpus. So if you remember, you do fit corpus and this as this, and when you do, you do x equal to cv dot transform. So what is the, now what this does? Any idea? It applies to that. Yes, it applies to this particular corpus and it is stored in a x. This is clear? Yes. yes. Now the same thing I'm doing here. So instead of writing two lines, only so this is the difference that's it so this okay. two line is converted to one line like this okay, okay thank you. nice clear yeah yes sir yes so this is what a fit transform does so everyone are you are you able to see the uh, x ma matrix yes and this is what exactly we got when we try to do with the help of in the theoretical session also, yes or no? So try to scroll the values, you, you will see in the one and zeros, and this is what you have, and try to give this ML model and you will try to learn. So this is a count vectorizer, okay? Any doubts you can ask. Okay. Now the same so, word will yes yes. Sorry, I missed the part like uh, how you uh, compare the corpus and sentences. Okay, so in the variable you can see a corpus variable also and a sentence variable also. Yes. Can you see that? Just yes. double click on corpus, it will get open. Double click on sentence, it will get open and try to compare these two. But I'm not getting it like this. My next okay. Is... Okay. Share share your screen. Let's see. Okay, so X, okay, where is the corpus? Scroll on top. Yeah, corpus you have, click on the corpus. Yes, you got this. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah just, just move this on the right-hand side. Okay, don't close. Just open that again. Yes, move on the right-hand side a bit. Okay, now click on sentences. Okay. Now compare these two. Okay, so this is the proper matrix size. Matrix, okay. yes, Thank you. Yep. Absan, uh, yes. Let me see the output of the fit transform. Mm -hmm. uh, in column 50 and column 97. If you see, okay, let me also open that. Okay, so in next you're saying. Okay, I will open that. Yes, so it's, uh, okay. Yeah, so in column? Column 50. Column 50. Okay. Okay, uh, here it is coming to. Yes, and okay. 97 also, if you say that it is 3. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Okay, so what can happen? Can you see on my screen? Yes. So in some sentences, what can happen is go. Okay. So uh, he is a good boy and a very good person. If you try to clean this text, how it look like? Good, good boy. Boy. Very, very. good. 
person. Person. Correct. Now, when you try to create a vocabulary, good boy, very person will be as a as a particular feature. Mm -hmm. So, good boy, very, and person is a feature. Now, when I come to sentence one, how many times good is repeated in that sentence? Two. Two. Now it's clear how white was yes, coming there. I got it. Yeah. So this is that's why. So basically that word was repeated again and again in the sentence. So that's why you got two mm. or three. I thought uh, it will obviously give us a one and zero formation. So I thought, but no, this is not the right way, which I thought. No, no, that is not the right way. Okay. Yeah. If that if the word is repeated, then this will of course change. It clearly okay. depends upon the word. Yes. How, yes. Thank you. Yeah. So now this is what we have. Okay, okay, I close that. Okay, so this is a code. Now what we'll do is we'll try to create TF IDF vectorizer for this now. Okay, now to create a TF IDF vectorizer, I will just copy the same sentence. I will paste it down. Then uh, in place of this, we have something called as TF. Okay, TF IDF vectorizer okay vectorizer not transformer vectorizer and of course we will use this here and your job is done just run this you have to just call tf factor uh, it will be tf you can say and this will be also tf and this let me move as x underscore tf so if i run this so where is x underscore tf yeah, this is X and those TF. Now everything will be in a form of some values now. Function, if you want to see, check this. So when you see this x underscore tf, this is what you get. Okay, so if you want to compare both x tf and x, you can see we sorry, you can compare and you can see the difference. Okay, sorry, x or C V X. So this is x and this is. XTF and you can see the difference. So the left hand side is TF IDF and the right side is count vectorizer. Can you go back to the code, Dapsan? Okay, you want me to go back to the code? This is the code. So for me, it shows uh, this ID, if ID, TFID vectorizer cannot. Uh, have you imported the same thing? That is sklearn feature extraction dot text. It is not feature selection, it's extraction dot text. Let's check this. Oh, it's TF, not IF. Okay. okay. TF IDF. TF IDF. Line 60 has to be changed. Below also has to be changed. Oh, uh, yeah. So everything it will change. Okay. So it is TF IDF vectorizer. Down, down one. Yes. Okay. So just erase the previous part. Yes. And just change the down, uh, 60th line also. 
Yes, now try to run. You got the output. Just try to search for x underscore tf. This, open this, and you got the output. So just try to save it. I will put this into your drive also, but if you want to save, you can save also in a particular in a particular file structure you want to save. Okay, so we have learned how to do pre-processing. We have seen how to do how to convert a particular unstructured data to a structured data using bag of word TF-IDF. Now to how to apply this in a use case. Suppose you have a data, we have seen this random things, right? So I have a text and I'm doing a, I'm cleaning the text and I'm doing the TF idea vectorizer and the con vectorizer. Okay. Now how to apply this everything, how to apply this knowledge on a particular data set. Now we'll try to see that. Okay. So now we will try to do a hands-on on a, on a, you can say a real-time use case also, because that use case is used in many cases. So real-time use case, we'll try to do now. So once you have done that, uh, please open your Jupyter Notebook. And the topic is Netflix. Sentiment. So let's start. So what uh, the main objective of this class is to tell you that how to do an end-to-end -end project, okay? On a based on some particular use case, if you have how to do that particular, you, how to complete, how to do that particular project. This project is simple one, not as a complicated one, but yes, you will get an idea that how to do the project. Uh, so what we'll do is first, the first task is to always import a library at, at the at the top most, okay? So importing, all the important libraries. So after you have done that, so what we'll do is we'll put numpy as np, import pandas as pd, we'll import a string, import nltk, and then what else we need? Uh, um, nltk, dot corpus import stop words. Then from sklearn model, we have to do a train test split. So sklearn dot model selection. Okay, I think, okay, it's sklearn. dot model selection import train test split and of course the tf idea vectorizer so from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text <coughs> sorry import tf idea vectorizer and import con vectorizer okay again i will be using any one and you have to go with the other one as a homework okay so let's run this yes everything is perfectly fine and now the next thing what i will do is i will just assign the stop words okay so sw is equal to stop words dot words and english language if i run this this is done now the step is reading the data, reading the data. Now, if you look at the data, if you have extracted the data, so let me show you how it, look like, how it looks like. So Netflix, when you go inside Netflix, we have a positive, positive.txt and we have negative.txt, okay? <laughs> so we have to import these two things now. So let me go back. And let's take it. Uh, so I'm giving as positive review equal to pd.read csv. 
then of course I have to give the file name that is POS. Okay, so it will be Netflix POS.txt. Then it's a text file. So we have to give that how it's separated. Okay, so if you look, it is separated by slash n. So separated by slash n. And it's a text. So header we don't want. Header equal to none. And encoding. It's a text file. So we have to do encoding so that it can be properly rated. So the encoding will be Latin one. So if you run this, let's try to see POS run this. And this is the data that you can see. Okay, now the next thing what I'm doing is, so after re reading the data, I'm adding a target column. Adding a target column. So how to add a column? So it's very simple. So take POS ref, create a new, give a new column name. So let it be uh, more equal to 1.0. So now if I run this, a new column is created and now it's 1.0 for everything. <coughs> okay. So now uh, the next step. Okay. Till here it's clear to everyone. Uh, go. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, for number four line. I, I didn't get you. Your voice is a bit low. Can you just. Kajal, so I yeah, think yeah, I am just typing this thing. I am not yet read so to okay, 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 okay. I will give you five minutes. Yes, yes. Go if you want. Option, have you shared the file that uh, positive dot mm -hmm. Yes, see, I have shared the file if I'm not wrong. So this is a Netflix or zip file, and this is September patch, right? So yes, I have shared the file. So, and go inside NLP and it's NLP, you can see Netflix. Inside Netflix, you can see the Netflix or zip file. So just download this and extract this. Okay. Okay, so my next question is, uh, I want to rename this zeroth column to some particular name. So how to do that? Can anyone tell me? Uh, POS rev uh, columns columns is equal to. Okay. So POS underscore, what happened? Sorry. POS underscore ref equal to there's something called as rename okay so if i do pos underscore ref dot rename and inside this you have to pass columns okay so c o l u m n s so i think something i'm doing wrong here let's see uh it's correct okay so in this columns what you have to do is you have to pass in dictionary format okay so i want to change this to review. So R E V I E W, just run this, and that particular column got changed to review. Okay, so this is what we have done. So reading the data, so reading the positive data, okay, reading the positive text data. Now the same thing we have to do for negative data also, right? So I will just copy this, paste below, 
in place of neg what i will do is i will put negative so n e g negative copy paste 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 then this will be negative of course so n e g and this will be also negative so if i and the mode will be of course 0, 0.0 so for positive we are taking one for negative we are taking zero okay so simple convention so read the negative data if i run this this is okay so what is the problem okay so there is no file okay so this is pause this is i think will be negative yes if i run this this is a data that you are getting Okay, so these two parts are clear to everyone what I have done in these two parts. So basically I have created data set, that's it. Okay, so I have taken a first data set. I have created one more column that's a target one for the negative and the positive one. We also, we have done the same thing. So this is clear to everyone, yes or no? Latin, uh, how you took that one? Uh, uh, Latin, I'm putting, uh, uh, there's two reasons to put this, okay? The first thing is this is a TXT file, not a CSV file, okay? So if this format is a TXT file, then you have to put some kind of encoding because this TXT file will do a UTF coding by default. So that's the thing. So we have to put Latin underscore one. So whenever you see a UTF-8 encoding error, just try to do encoding equal to Latin one, okay? So this is just a UTF to just uh, remove the UTF error that you get. So if you remove this, see, if you remove this, if you run this, you got in UTF error, see, so let's scroll down, UTF-8 error. So it cannot be decoded, okay, because there's some encoding that happens behind the scene. So that's why you have to do Latin one. That's clear? So this is the technique that they have done. So yes, so Latin one is the, so remember this, okay, whenever you're getting a UTF-8 error, try to put encoding equal to Latin and it will be solved. The issue will be solved. So this is part one. And the same thing, exactly the same thing I've done for part two also. So run this and you get part two. Now you got the data. The next part is cleaning the data, right? So cleaning the data. So cleaning will involve, so I will just, uh, so I will take, I will convert everything into lowercase. Then I will convert everything. Okay. so. What I will do is, uh, I will remove spaces. Then the third part is I will remove punctuations. I will remove, uh, so I will remove stop words. Then, I will lemmatize, okay? So lemmatize part, uh, part I will skip so that you can try this, so lemmatize. It will be very easy, okay? I will just tell you how to do that if you want, but I will not do the lemmatize part. You have to do the lemmatize part and we have to see that any in, in any accuracy improvement is there or not, okay? So you have to do this. So run this. So, uh, and, I'm sorry to interrupt, in the above in line 11, so you have done negative dot text, okay? And uh, mode is equal to zero. Mode is zero. So for negative, we are taking as uh, zero, and for positive, we are taking as one. Okay. Okay. So let's try to do this particular cleaning of the text. So I don't know what. Uh, so you can go with any of the method you like okay if you know other method better than mine then you can go with that okay it's no issue i am trying to dissect everything possible so that you can understand so i'm writing in a that way okay so if you know how to code better in panda so you can do okay so you can do on your your own coding if you want so can you please scroll up? 
sorry can you scroll up can you scroll up okay yeah this part or more yeah yeah Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, uh, lock. Then I will take all the rows, but the review column. And what I will do is I will do pause dot okay pause underscore rev dot lock. So same thing I will take. But I will use apply function here. Okay, so apply and l a m b d a lambda x x dot lower, and this will convert each and every text to a lower case. So this is the first thing. So what I will do is I will copy one, two, three, four. So after converting to a lower case, again I am taking a particular review column. Then I am just putting a regex. That is re dot substitute substitute. Uh, so if everyone is familiar with regex, then you will understand this. So at the rate slash s plus and comma this, and we have to put x. Okay. So basically, what I am doing in this part is I am trying to remove wherever person has mentioned at the rate something. So at the rate A B C at the rate X Y Z. So I am just removing that particular part. Okay, this is now this is what you have to learn. Okay, so the X part is very important. So if some kind of information you want to remove, you can't remove with the help of the predefined function. Then you have to use regex for that. And how to regex? This is a simple method to regex. So I'm just what I'm doing is at the rate capital S, okay, not a Y space. If it is present at the rate, or at the rate any characters is present, then I'm just creating it. Uh, I'm just removing that. I'm creating. I'm putting that as an empty string, and this is an X, okay. So on which string you want to perform, you have to provide the X as a string. As simple as that. Now the next part is translate. str dot make trans okay so in a dictionary dot from keys and you have to put string so basically i remove the punctuation okay i am just remove the punctuation so string dot punctuation okay so what i will do is i will just after apply okay before after apply this part i will write in the next line i hope everyone knows this particular uh, line break okay so this is the important feature if you want to put everything in the same line and this we have then after doing the punctuation the next step what i will do is so we have done the lower we have removed the space we have done the punctuation Now the part remaining is stop words. So let's try to do that. Okay, so x for word in x dot split for word in x dot split. If word not sorry if word not in S W then give the word and after join after giving the word join everything so join with a space so 
dot g o i n join and just remove the last part so if word not in stop words everything is correct i think yes so i will just also what i will do is after this yes this is what if i run this i get an error great so what is the error okay okay i think this is not allowed in valid syntax so let's see the syntax for word in okay for word in Okay, I'm bad. Okay, so R is okay. So R is not defined. So we have to import R. E. Import R. E. Try to run this. And you got okay again. I'm going to dic is dictionary is not defined. How is dictionary is not defined? Okay, sorry, it's dictionary, right? D I C T. Okay, done. So, if you want to again see pause review, what you can do is P O S review, and this is what you get as the output. So, any doubts in this, you can ask. I don't know why this is not working. This should work actually. Yeah, it's working. Right? So apply. Yeah. Okay. Great. So this is what I have written. So anyone has a doubt in this, you can ask. Uh, what are you doing in the third sentence? I mean, third line. Third line in this line, lambda one, x trans. Yes. Yes. In this line, what I am doing is I am just trying to remove the punctuation. So this is the way to do that. X dot translate. So this is the one of the way. So I think in an analytic, I have taught you this. No. Yes. In analytic, I think I have taught you this. So basically, translate is a function. So when you do make trans dot dix from keys, so whatever string punctuation you have, it will try to remove from this X. So a simple form things for that. Okay. So for example, if I just copy this. And show you in the new line. So X translate. So this will be one to run this. X is not defined. So punctuation, right? So I I had upsan. The output is upsan. But if I type any comma, the output is is still upsan because string dot punctuation. If you see this, if you so these are the string dot punctuation, right? So in a string, if anything is found. What it will do is it will try to ignore that. So if you put upsan, if you do underscore, if you put bracket, it will be still upsan. So it is the cleaning of the text using this particular method. Is clear? Yes. Okay. So this is a method. Can just go a little bit up. Yes. Here. Yeah. So I will copy this and paste for you guys if you want to copy. Okay, so can you please share the drive link if possible? Okay, money. Uh, I sorry for seeing the. Late. I will just give you the link. Copy. Money. So just take this. Sorry for responding late. I just saw it now. Okay, everyone. So. So any doubts you have, you can ask. 
if you didn't understood any part any line you want me to explain you can ask So if everyone understood, just type understood in the chat box so that I can move forward. Okay, great. You have to import uh, RE, right? In yes, the... yes, import RE, yes. In the top one, you have to do import RE. Okay, thank you. See, base, I'm not doing a limitization, okay? That's your job. You will do after this class, okay? At your free time or any, so you have to do this limitization. So I'm just leaving this on half. So basically you have to do limitize dot lem and you have to put the word. That's the simple stuff you have to do. So this Abbas, I'm leaving that for you, okay? So this is a positive review. We have to do this for the negative review, okay? The same thing we have to do for the negative review also. So what you have to only do is just convert everything to negative. NEG. So copy, paste, paste. Okay, so yes, this is only what you have to do. Once this is done, try to run this and you got the answer. I am getting an error, like it is saying that uh, key error, like key error. Okay, just share your screen. Let's see. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, so this is correct. Dictionary, make trans, translate is correct. Okay. Go scroll down, scroll down. Let's see where the key error is. Um, review, like not able to find review. Or... Okay, go on, go on top. So go, scroll on top. So ch check the spelling for review. It's correct. What you have written. So it's R E V I E W. For pause, go for position. A positive, sorry. R E V I. Okay, I think it's correct. Go down. More, more, more. Yes, so R E V I W. It's correct. Review is correct. Uh, correct. Second one is correct. Okay, go uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll fully to down. Yes. More, more, more. More. Key error review. Okay, go on top. Well, okay, let's review. Okay, so review spelling is correct for everything. It is uh, what happened when it is trying to execute this one, then only it is happening. Okay, just try to do one thing just comment everything except the first line. Let's see. No. Yes. No, no, comment, uh, uncomment the first line and comment everything else. Okay, okay. Just debugging. That's it. Everything, everything. Just select everything. No, select everything and do control question mark. It will do everything once at once only. Yes. Control and front, front slash. Yes. Okay, now run this. Shift enter. Okay, so first part only is giving you the error. Okay. Now, what the issue is let's see positive block is lock is correct then this is correct uh, review dot apply it should work okay try to try to kill your kernel and try to run, run everything again okay we start hello ha bolo na Start and run on. Hello. Yes. 
so let it run nahi nahi same 24th 24th yes nahi nahi kuch changes nahi hai ha so we have done for positive review we have done for negative review so our first and the second step is done so what i will do is i am connecting the positive and the negative review data so i think if everyone knows so common review is equal to pd dot concat so i am con so not connecting i am concatenating basically concatenating concat and in the in this you have to put the both the data frame so i will just put pos underscore review okay not review is rev then i will put negative underscore review at what axis you want to concatenate so i will put that axis so basically i want to mm -hmm. go row wise so i will put zero and then I I will do reset index, reset underscore index. If I run this, so let's print common review, and this is the output that you get. Okay, so once your data is prepared, so this is your data set. Okay, this is your data that is prepared now. now what we have to do is we have to do a train test split train test split okay after doing this so everyone knows how to do a train test split so how many data returns train test split how many data returns four x train x test y train y test yes x train then x test y train Y test, and then we will do train test split. Sorry. Inside this, I will put common review. I will take a review column. Dot values, comma, common review more. dot values comma then the next what you have to uh, put the test size so i will put test size as 0.24 now and random state random state as 101 and what i will do is is becoming large so i will just put this enter So basically, what I am doing in this step is I am just doing a train test split. That everyone knows what how to do that. So if I run this, so everything will be split into X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Okay, okay, it's clear till here. Everything is clear to everyone. Okay, then this is extra. I am doing. If you want, if you don't want to do, if you don't do, if you want to do, don't. Uh, if you want to copy, just copy this. Okay, it's up to you. So this is just to show you how everything looks like. Okay, so I what I am doing is I am creating one train data, basic data frame, and one test data frame basically, so that I can show you what is happening. So review. If you want, you can ignore this step. So X train. comma mode what i will do is for mode i will give y train so this is a train data and this will be the test data so review will be x test and y test 
if i run this so if i told you the train data how it looks like so this is how train data looks like so basically these are the data that is that has been selected so now it is run see here everything was one then everything was zero when it do a, when i did a train test split everything becomes randomized now okay so it is not in a proper structured way so this is for train data this is for test data and this is what you get we have the data we have everything in a proper way <clears throat> now what we have to do is we have to convert everything into a numerical form okay now here i will be doing in a in tf idea form you can just practice in a con vectorizer form okay so i will just what i will do is i will do vectorizer vectorizer equal to tf idea vectorizer train vectors equal to vectorizer dot fit underscore transform the same thing what you have seen in the spider the same thing i'm doing here transform inside this i will put the data that is train data and which column which particular column we want to train on so you have to put that particular column so train data dot review and same we have to do for test vectors and for this also vectorizer dot fit Okay, so transform test data review. So if I run this, this is what I get. So basically, I'm putting, I'm just uh, seeing the vocabulary of the train data, and I'm uh, applying that transform on the train vectors also and test vector also, so that I get a proper data form. So once this is done. What you wrote uh, above in line 30, just uh, train data and took the train data. Uh, line 32, you want me to explain? Yes, line 32, you have just took the train data and test data, correct? Yes, yes, yes. So one, one data frame, only that tra training is there and one data frame or testing is there. Just to uh, show you this, I have done that. Nothing, nothing more. So when this is done, your job is done. Okay, so now the next thing what you have to do is, so from, uh, I will just SK learn import. I will work with SV, SVM for now. And from SK learn dot, Uh, matrix, I guess, right? Matrices import classification report so that we can see the report. Let's clean input SVM from SVM. Okay, this is done. Run this. Now just train your model. That's it. This is a part that is we have to so classifier equal to SVM dot. We have something called as SVC. In this, you have to put the kernel. I think everyone knows, everyone knows what is a kernel in SVM. So this is linear. Then the only part that is very easy is you have to do fit. You have to put the train vectors. So train vectors, comma, the target value on which you want to train. So train data mode, run this. It will take time because it's a large amount of data. So let it take time. Meanwhile, I will add the future code. Okay, so I will write pred equal to classifier. So it, it the model has been trained. Uh, classifier dot predict and test vectors. So I, I will get the prediction on a test vectors. Then the simple thing what I will do is I will try to generate a classification report. So report equal to classification report for test data mode and predicted data. And I want the output dictionary as a true. 
and basically what i will do is print positive report of uh, i think it is 1.0 we have taken and for 110 i want a recall same for negative also i want the recall so everyone knows i think that when we have a classification data it is better to better to check the recall and the precision rather than checking the accuracy okay because sometimes we can have a imbalance imbalanced data set and the the accuracy can be misleading okay so that's why so negative this will be zero and when to print this okay so invalid syntax somewhere so it is 1.0 report is done correct okay got it this will be two data okay one and this will be also double same for down this is the output that you are getting okay so for positive you are getting 7398 and for negative you are getting 7587 okay so after doing this so basically your your thing is done okay so uh, so let's take what i will do is let's take a input from user and whatever he types we will try to tell whether the sentiment whether the sentiment is positive or negative okay so write the review so basically this you have to do in a web page okay so if you know how to use flask in a very good way so it is very simple just create text box this so this you can do easily then what you have to do is first we have to vectorize it okay so vector this particular sentence so i think it is vectorizer dot transform okay dot transform and put sorry my bad put the data here sorry not data a and i will just convert this to two array so that we can pass it to our model now when this is converted my prediction is equal to model not model basically it will be classifier dot predict and inside this i will pass vector and what user let's see what user will see so print my red so let's run this let's write some review now okay so i am writing best movie for now let's see okay so what is the error okay okay so vectorize it okay sorry my bad my bad so the problem is that we have to convert this into a list okay so whatever we are typing we have to convert this into a list that is the model that it wants so i will just run this again now so what i will type is best movie and the prediction what you are getting is 0 0 okay so i think some mistake i have done here so vector i am giving this to this my pred classifier so it is predicting 0 0 0 0 okay okay i have to check what is a for. so let's give a like this first best okay so i will just write something okay now you're getting output okay so i think when we convert into list so i think each and every one word word was getting converted to list okay i think yes that was that was happening so just take a particular review from a user try to convert into a list 
okay and then try to okay so what is happening is so basically this was a mistake i was doing so when you do this no everything gets converted into a list all the individual alphabets so in place of this just pass this now type any okay so what is the issue now okay my bad so it is uh, best movie i run this now you're getting output as one c so your model is trained now. So you can so you can create a website and you can just uh, ask user to write any review and you will tell whether it's a good review or a bad review. So let's type uh, worst movie. The review is zero. See, the review is zero. Uh, if I run excellent movie, the the review is one. So this is how you run the model. So it's clear to everyone, yes or no? Uh, Apsan, if uh, the user writes that it, it was an excellent movie, so in that case, uh, what will happen? Which one? Okay, so entire sentence can also be given. Just uh... yes, yes, entire sentence will also given. So automatically, what you have trained on on the vocabulary, only that vocabulary will fill, right? So it doesn't care that if you provide a sentence, if the word is present, it will try to put that. Get my point? Yes. And instead of converting that uh, input into the list uh, here on the first line, you have converted mm -hmm. it to uh, here now. I mean, on the third line. Yes, in the third line. Yes, inside this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone. So. Today's topic is over. So enjoy your weekend and tomorrow again, we'll see in the tomorrow's class. And then I will explain you how to save the particular thing, how to save this model, how to work with the model. And we will see two new concepts that is information retrieval and cosine similarity and the use cases of that. Okay, okay everyone. So have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.